And now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Much of the same here across Greater Lafayette. Hot and humid today with temperatures reaching the upper 80s and low 90s. Looking northward from our downtown Renaissance camera, pretty hazy out there. Dew points around the mid to low 60s at this hour with a temperature of 90 degrees here in Lafayette. Feels more like 92 out there at this hour. 91 in Kokomo. We're at 90 in Winnemac. 91 in Fowler as well with heat indices. Climbing into the triple digits in some spots, feeling like 101 in Dayton. Kentland Rensselaer, both feeling like 102 right now. 95, your current heat index in New Richmond. So we're not getting any respite from the heat for now, but it does appear like we may see some scattered showers and storms roll into the region. It's all thanks to a core of low pressure off to the northeast and more importantly, a weak frontal boundary off to the north of us that will slowly make its way southward across parts of Lake Michigan, southern Michigan, northern Illinois, and eventually in the northern Indiana over the next few hours. That will interact with the heat and humidity here at the surface. And eventually we're talking about chances of showers and storms popping up later on this evening. Here's home. We're looking at scattered cloud cover by 6 p.m. That system rolling southward, firing storms up to the north of us. This is by 9 p.m., pushing into our northern counties over the following hours as early as about 9 to 10 p.m. Some of these storms may pack a punch, maybe some heavy downpours, small hail, gusty winds, and that is why the National Weather Service and Storm Prediction Center has placed our far northern portion of the viewing area under a marginal risk for severe weather throughout the evening hours. Once again, kicking off about 9 p.m. through about midnight. Then after that, maybe a few more. More scattered showers and storms across the northeastern half of the viewing area. But some of these storms could once again produce the larger hail, maybe some damaging winds, torrential rain, so some light local flooding a possibility. But as we go ahead in the forecast, not only are we talking about additional shower and storm chances, but a possible end to that heat in sight. That's almost as nice as this beautiful shot. Our snapshot forecast supplied to us by Amy Killian. A beautiful sunrise here from Amy. And our forecast could be better. 89 degrees by 7 p.m., 81 by 10 p.m., 76 degrees by midnight. And once again, a few pop-up showers and storms not out of the realm of possibility with that marginal risk of severe weather for the far northern portion of the viewing area. 68 degrees overnight tonight. The rainfall will depart, but the mild to muggy conditions will stick around. Unfortunately, that frontal boundary won't make its way much further south. So we're looking at the heat and humidity here at home. Cooler conditions off to the north of us, staying away from from us. And this frontal boundary does not move much tomorrow as well. Scattered pop up showers and storms possibly across the northern half of the viewing area tomorrow ahead of that frontal boundary, just sitting and stalling out across parts of the northern half of the state. And we'll continue to see pop up showers and storm chances at least for the next couple of days. Check out these temperatures for tomorrow. Once again, not looking much better. You can see a few cooler temperatures off to the north where you're seeing a bit more of the moisture, more of that cloud cover. 86, your high temp temperature in Rochester. You go a little bit further off to the southwest. Lafayette, 89, 90 in Covington, 91 in Crawfordsville. And for tomorrow, well, 89 degrees. Once again, Friday, Saturday, 90 degrees. Sunday, looking at a high temperature of 90. Labor Day, Jeff, a little bit cooler. 88, your high temperature on Monday. But notice the storm chances early next week. That's going to cool things off. 87 Tuesday, that cold front rolls through. 73, your high temperature by next Thursday afternoon. All right, Kim, thank you yep. for that. Just a